I was on my way to the laboratories of the Oradeps when Admiral Wachim caught me by surprise in the main corridor. Your attitude is unacceptable, Xerxes. In three days, the demon hordes will fall upon Aventuria. If my army is destroyed, then it'll be your ignorance which brought us down. Oh, Admiral. I know, I know, but you exaggerate. We are simple elementalists. We've withdrawn to these halls because the concerns of the world weary us. We're not warriors. You command the elements. You could set whirlwinds upon the enemy hordes with your spirits. Or an infernal firestorm. Keshal Ri itself attests to your power. Floating stones are one thing. War is another. You'll have to fight your little skirmish alone. I repeated my words of the day before, emphasized that we didn't see a threat to the balance of the spheres, and even permitted myself a small sophisticated pun on the military zeal of our times, which, to my disappointment, went over his head. And then the spirits at the gate suddenly opened the portal. Are you expecting someone? No. Hmm. Welcome to the Council of the Elements. How, uh, can I help you? Is this Draconia? Yes, the Council of the Elements in Draconia. You require the services of an elementalist? My name is Sadia. I come from Fazar. Fazar? A long way. Did you come the whole way on foot? Yes. I'm here to join the Holy Army. I want to fight in the Gore. I'm afraid I have nothing to do with that. Let me know if you learn any more about him. What can you do? Can you fight? Use magic? I'm looking for a prince. I'm supposed to give him this mask. That's is. Take her to the prince. But I'd rather... At once. <laughs> if you'd follow me... I must admit, we are a bit, uh, how shall I put it, surprised by your arrival. Not many people stray here. To be honest, it's also a blessing for me. The Admiral is beginning to get on my nerves. Did you know that Draconia was built by dragons? All the wonders of this world in one place. And behind every passageway lies a new surprise. And that man wants us to drop everything and fight in his ridiculous little war. Can you imagine it? May I ask what's so special about this mask? I don't know. Then it's a good thing that you are here. We in the Council of Elements specialize in the study of mysterious artifacts. These timeless halls offer many opportunities to do so. Ah, <sighs> time. Isn't time an astonishing thing? At first glance, everything in Draconia seems so gigantic, and we seem so small. But that is nothing in comparison to the monumental size of the time which slumbers in these halls. According to our understanding, this is the oldest structure in Aventuria. Almost as old as time itself. I hope you have healthy lungs. This stairway is horrible. And here's another ancient wonder that leaves us absolutely awestruck. A star system, but fascinatingly, not our own. Who built it? And why? Does it show the past? Or a distant future? I propose that it shows both. And another staircase. Ah, the zucchini. I love zucchini. Why is Draconia so empty? I thought you were about to go to war. Where's the army? Wrong. We 
that is the Council, have decided to stay out of this war. We're being pressured to change our minds, but as long as the balance of the spheres isn't disturbed, we see no reason to do so. Blast it. Does that mean there's no army here? Yes, there is. Over there. The Flying Fortress Keshal Ri. A masterpiece of elemental air magic. Do you have any more questions before I take you to the Prince? Take me to the fortress. I must see this Prince. And once again, you draw hasty, false conclusions. The Prince is no longer in the fortress, but rather here, in this hole. Take my hand. Right, there we are. <laughs> I lured you into a pretty trap, eh? Yes, the prince is a prisoner, and yes, you played into his hands. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Let me go. I brought the mask here under a misunderstanding. I'm innocent. I know. On the way up here, I cast a few spells on you. I know that you mean no evil. Well, then? Hmm. Before I let you go, give me the mask, your staff, and the dagger. It can be no other way. Is this what you wanted? Why are you doing this? Now, all that's missing is the staff and the mask. If you want something from me, you'll have to come and get it. You can't be serious! And now, the mask. <sighs> I'll be right back. Whoever you are, Thank you for bringing it here. Had I known you were behind this, I would have thought twice about it. Hello, Kasim. It's me, Sadia. Sadia? <laughs> Sadia! How long has it been? Since you had me thrown out of the palace. Long enough to leave those times behind me. As if anything has changed since then, I'm still the sole heir of the Mogul dynasty. And you, you're nothing. That's where you're mistaken. I'll go into battle against the demon hordes, and I will triumph. All of Avastan will know my name, and everyone will fall to their knees before me in awe. <laughs> you really believe that? You can't change who you are, Sadia. You'll always be the same person you always were. Second class. Insignificant. My name, on the other hand, my name will be Immortal. Take my hand. I'll take you to a more comfortable place. How do you think they knew each other? He is a prince. She's a princess. Maybe they're siblings. What I find much more puzzling is how the maid knew about their conversation. He wasn't there. And yet it's written in his journal. Keep reading. I took the woman to her chambers. It was obvious that she knew the prince. Yet I still couldn't find any malevolence in her. In order to keep an eye on her, I commanded one of my invisible air spirits to continue watching her. Aha! I'll leave you alone now. Get some rest. You'll need your strength tomorrow when we send you home. I didn't come here only to be sent back. 
You were the instrument of a traitor. I doubt Admiral Vahim's going to welcome such a person to his fortress. Let me talk to him. There's water on the table. I'll have fresh vegetables brought to you soon. We'll meet again at dawn. Good night. If you won't talk to the Admiral, then I'll do it myself. And please stay in your room. No! I must join the battle. Let me talk to the Admiral. I'm truly sorry, but no. And now, please go back and sleep. <gasps> the leaves are swaying in the wind, but there's no wind here. Hey, you. You're an air spirit, aren't you? Let's play. Let's play hide and seek. We'll both hide from the mages. Hmm. What shall we do? They would find us right away in this room. Is that her? Yes, but what is she doing here? Admiral? I thought the evil mage had locked you up in his tower. Yes, but I jumped out of the window. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, eh, Wahim? Take me with you to the battle. I won't disappoint you. And she has courage. Yes, but no weapon. Besides, she almost played into Kasim's hands. I think it's too risky. What sort of weapon do I need in order to come with you? We're fighting against demons, so something blessed would be good. Bring me some kind of weapon and my companion will take care of the blessing. He is a Deont. <laughs> Deont would be more like it. Ariarchos, please. I didn't know about the Prince's plan. I heard. But how do I know that you won't unknowingly aid him again? As long as we don't know his plans, I won't take any further risks. I'll be back soon. Now, where shall I put it? Bless this weapon for me. A simple dagger. I'm fast and agile with it. It has done me loyal service. That's enough for me. However, the blessing will take some time. Pick it up from me later. Who is that girl? And what's she whispering to Kasim? Hmm, the horns can be turned. What is that? It sounds like... A whisper. The whisper is getting louder. 